Hi, I'm Chris Curry, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to create this simple looping stroke animation inside of Adobe After Effects. I'll also be sharing some cool tips and tricks, so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorials. All right, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is hit Command N on our keyboard to create a new composition. I'm going to call this text stroke animation. 1920 by 1080, 25 frames per second, and a 15 second duration looks good to me. I'm going to drag in my background layer, then I'm going to get a text tool by hitting command T on our keyboard, or you can select the text tool in the toolbar above here. To create the text layer, just simply click anywhere and a text layer will be created below. Let's centralize this using the align tools in the right hand panel. I also like to make sure my anchor point is aligned to the center of the layer, which it is in this case, so perfect. Okay, everything's looking good. Now we want to add our stroke. Before we do this, we need to understand how strokes work inside of After Effects. With the text layer selected, we're going to go over to the right hand side of the screen and expand the character panel here. Here we do have the option to add a stroke. I'm going to set this to 10 so you can see what this looks like. We can also toggle between the fill and stroke layer here. This all looks good, but there is one problem. We can't actually animate this stroke. If we expand the text layer by clicking the drop down arrow here, you'll see that there is no way to animate the stroke we've just created. If we open the transform options, we can only animate the layer as a whole, which isn't what we want. To animate a stroke on a text layer, what we need to do is convert each of the individual letters into paths. To do this, make sure your text layer is selected, then go to layers, create and create masks from text. This will create a new layer we can work with. If you can't see these paths, Click here or use the shortcut Command, Shift and H. This time when we expand the text layer, we can see that each of the individual letters has its own path. But what we want to do is animate all of the strokes at the same time. To do this, we need to head over to our Effects and Presets tab and search for a stroke. If you have the text layer selected, you can simply double tap the stroke or you can drag it on top of the text layer. We now have the option to edit the stroke in the Effects and Control tab. So we can see what we are working with, I'm going to turn the colour to bright red. Let's also increase the brush size to 8 and hardness to 100. Currently we can only see the stroke on one letter, so we need to check the All Masks box. Then we want to get rid of the white fill. We could do this by changing the paint style and selecting On Transparent. To animate this stroke we need to turn on the End and Start stopwatches. Let's go back down to our text layer in the timeline and hit U on our keyboard to reveal all the keyframes we just created. Make sure your cursor is over the keyframes and move the endpoint to zero. Then we want to use the shortcut Command, Shift and the right arrow key to jump forward by 10 frames. Bring the start and end to 100%. Once we've done this, move the cursor into the middle of the keyframes and you'll notice that nothing's happening. That's because we now need to offset the start and end points like this. I'm going to move both of the start keyframes forward and now let's watch this playback. At the moment all of the strokes are being animated sequentially, so let's go back up to the effect controls and uncheck this box. Ok, let's watch this playback. Ok, looking good, let's keep going. Next we want to select the two end keyframes and right click. Go to Keyframe Assistant and select Easy Ease. Then we want to fine tune this, so we're going to go to our graph editor. Click this button here. In the graph editor, we want to work on the speed graph, so we're going to right click and select Edit Speed Graph. Let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Highlight both of these keyframes like this. Then, using the yellow lever, drag as far to the left as it will go. Let's head back to the timeline, move these keyframes further apart and preview the animation. Not bad. Ok, so that's our animation done, now we're going to work on the overall design. With our stroke layer selected, hit command D on your keyboard to create a copy. I'm going to do this three times. Then I'm going back to the project panel and I'm going to drag in my colour scheme. Select the bottom layer and go back to the effect controls tab. Using the eyedropper tool, we're simply going to sample the colour we want the stroke layer to be. I'm going to repeat this for the other stroke layers and change them to a different colour too. Then we need to offset our text layers. Select all your text layers and hit U on your keyboard to reveal all the keyframes. 
Then we're going to offset each of these layers. Okay, let's watch this. What I want to do is have the last stroke remain at 100% complete. All we need to do is go to the last end frame and set this to 0%. Let's watch. Perfect. What we're going to do next is create a looping animation. This is really quick and simple. Let's highlight all our text layers. Then we're going to pre-compose these by hitting Command, Shift and C on our keyboard. I'm going to call this text animation. All our layers are now contained within this composition. We can click in and edit at any time. Moving back to our main composition, let's trim this stroke layer down. Hit Command, Shift and D to split this layer in two and delete the other layer. Then we're going to go to our stroke animation and hit Command D to make a copy. Right click this new layer and go to Time and select Time Reverse Layer. Watch what happens when we preview this now. We just created our looping stroke animation. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I hope this tutorial was helpful and thanks for watching.